Hi guys, three months ago I made a video about Flatpak. Are we using too many Flatpaks? Is Flatpak the right technology? And today I'm gonna review another technology which for example Linux Mint is prominently promoting for a better usage of your system. And this is called Time Shift. So welcome to Linux Ort. In this video we will review Time Shift. Is it the right technology for us? And is snapshotting our Linux systems a good option? I would say let's start. At first, if you hadn't heard anything about Timeshift, it is pre-installed, for example, on Linux Mint and is a very simple snapshot tool. At the beginning, you will be asked which snapshot type we are doing. Normally on Debian, Linux Mint, Ubuntu and so on, we are using rsync. This just stupidly copies your system files into another place on your partition. So if you, for example, use about 15 or 20 gigabytes for your Linux Mint system, the first snapshot has a size also about 20 gigabytes. So it doubles your used system space and this is a lot. If you're using Manjaro or for example an Arch, then you will probably use ButterFS and then Timeshift is not as space hungry as in our rsync mode, but on the Debian based systems and Linux Mint, which is of course also Debian based, time shift takes a huge amount of your hard disk. For example, in my case, I only have about 18 gigabytes of free space. This isn't enough. I would recommend using time shift if you have about 150 or 200 gigabytes of disk space available just to be safe that time shift doesn't fill your entire disk and for example your system won't boot again because such errors i'm handling a lot in my german linux support business we are serving end user support and also support for companies right now in the german speaking area and with more about 1000 sessions we already had done in the last month this is a reoccurring problem and I'm gonna ask me the question, are we helping with time shift at the current point or are we worsening things with time shift? And yeah, this question I want to answer with you in this video. Here you can also select the snapshot levels. So with this, for example, time shift takes every month a snapshot and only keeps the last two snapshots. This is completely enough. And my recommendation, if you want to use the automatic snapshot feature of time shift, but I won't recommend this today if you don't have too much available disk space. So I would recommend only to do automatic time shift snapshots if you have about 100 gigs or 150 gigs available, maybe 200 gigs. So you won't get any space issues by running time shift because yeah, some customers of us are experiencing those problems regularly. So time shift doesn't help in this case. Instead, it is worsening some points here. Also, time shift is used for some scenarios for which it isn't built for. For example, if you created a time shift snapshot on your old system, installed a new system with new partitioning and so on, and then want to restore an old time shift snapshot to your new system, then your new system will not boot anymore because time shift saves the old IDs of your partitions on your hard disk. So in the etc fs tab file, there are wrong UUIDs and your system won't boot again because your time shift set your system to use some partitions from your old system which are not available anymore. In the first place you might think yeah time shift should be usable for this. I personally also would think yeah it will be a nice use case but time shift isn't built for that. That is very sad and also such scenarios we saw frequently in our support sessions which is very sad to see that some guys are worsening the situation by using time shift. Also another scenario we have experienced with customers they created a time shift snapshot and then changed something in the user settings. 
for example, in user and groups, and they created new users, deleted some old ones, and this led to, if they reset their system to an older time shift snapshot, that, yeah, the user data isn't saved, but the authentication data for users and the information in the system that this user actually exists is in the system and is saved by time shift and is also restored by time shift. So we had our new user files with complete new users, but had our information from our old users. So in such cases, the user couldn't log in because, for example, for the old user, the home directory was gone and so on and so on. So these are also bad situations which are not really the guilt of time shift because this is how the Linux system works and it is completely okay that Linux works this way, but for that time shift isn't also really a use case. And yeah, in this case, it's also worsening things. Now let us come for what are you using time shift? And before what problems is time shift really helping? I would say one point is to install or remove some software which had done wrong. Or if you, for example, changed a configuration file in your system to some points which make the system unbootable, for example, in the etc fs tab, or you messed up your sources.list file and so on. For this, time shift could be an option to reset your system to an older point. Or for example, if you know, oh, okay, I want to do some really risky, then I create my time shift snapshot before and restore it later to that point. If something goes wrong, Time shift has a really good use case for this, but not for big snapshots reversions to a long time ago, for example. Also, it helps if a kernel update gone wrong and your system won't boot again, then you possibly could go into your live system with your USB stick and restore the time shift snapshot from your live USB stick. This also works quite good. But when do we really have to do it? And for example, for kernel updates, we also have another kernel pair in our grub menu, which regularly works just fine. And then we can fix our system from there. And also another point where time shift could help is fixing updates which had gone wrong or which were interrupted by a system shutdown and so on then for example sometimes your system won't boot but usually then your system won't update again or can't install or remove any software because it has this inconsistent state but this also is fixed with a few commands and then your system is up and running again so if you want to see a video about this how to fix common issues on your Linux system when your Linux system won't boot, smash the like button and write me a comment so I really know, yeah, you want to see that video. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, it would be a pleasure for me on Linux Ort. We are releasing new videos every week. So I would be very happy if you join our small community. So yeah, these are some problems which you can fix with time shift. Other problems you probably won't fix with time shift or we didn't had such problems in our support sessions. And if you have other ideas for scenarios where time shift could help, then write it me into the comments. One scenario where time shift is helping and also is required by Linux Mint is when you're doing a big update from, for example, 21.3 to 22 of Linux Mint, then Linux Mint requires you to do a time shift backup. And yeah, this is okay because this is a very big system change and it could get wrong at a point of time. And then you have a good backup into your pocket or on your hard drive to go back and to roll back the update if, for example, something didn't go quite well. But we hadn't one case in our Linux support sessions where the Linux Mint update had gone completely wrong and they had to call the support. So I'm very confident the big Linux Mint update is quite fail safe, especially if we compare this to the Ubuntu 22.24.4 update. Yeah, it was a mess and it is still a mess. And yeah, for that, we got some support requests to fix their Ubuntu 24.4 update. So yeah, in the end, would I recommend you time shift? I would say if you have enough disk space, time shift 
isn't harming your system. And if you only use time shift very rarely and only use it as a last option if you don't know really further. Time shift is not recommended to use it all the day or to use it frequently. In my opinion, time shift should be only the last option before you are reinstalling your Linux system. If you have not enough disk space, then I would say only use it when you are doing big changes onto your system or risky changes, then use it manually, create one snapshot. Then you have also the control, ah, how many gigabytes I have available on my disk space. And I would say such manual use is also okay if you are low on disk space. By the way, if you're low on disk space and want to clean something up, have a look at linuxassistant.org. It is my tool I wrote for you. It's for many distributions and it helps you also in cleaning your disk space. So just have a look for it. It is completely free and open source and should be a helper for your daily tasks and some administrative tasks such as security things, updates, cleaning of something and so on. So yeah, this is it to time shift. I am not using time shift on my main machine. I have a Debian running on my main machine. I'm having it about two years, I would say, and I hadn't had any issue where I would use time shift. And also on my other machines, I never used time shift on my own. Okay, I'm kind of experienced with Linux and I would say I could always help me out of risky Linux situations. But I'm honest with you, I didn't really had any risky Linux situation in the last time where my system didn't work at all. So yeah, this was it for this video. What is your experience with time shift? Would you recommend time shift for the regular user? Please write it me into the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Bye.